Mr. Hey there, ladies and gents. Um, I've just recently watched a video, a rather clever little discovery, that with one of these xenodiodes or zendodiodes, depending on how you want to pronounce it, um, that it can actually generate electricity like a solar cell. Because they contain silicon, which is the active substance in solar cell, uh, cells or solar panels that produce electricity, you have the same effect with one of these. And I've had these on my shelf for ages, and I just consider them as diodes. Uh, I see, well, again, sorry about the focus, but my um, phone doesn't like things close up to it. But you can see there the little diode in between the two uh, leads for my multimeter. It's one of those little glass ones, um, often they're not marked. But yes, yeah, a silicon diode and it can produce electricity. So I'm going to try to show that in the last few minutes of this afternoon's sun as the sun goes behind the tree. So um, I'm actually going to put it onto just below the normal volts reading. So reading 0.6 now uh, in the last bit of the sun. Obviously if I cover it up I can do a simple demonstration that yes, the sun slightly affects it but not in a dramatic way until I whack it now onto the voltage reading and take a magnifying glass to concentrate the light and hopefully increase it up. But as I bring the light right to the diode, it's a bit hard to get. But right there I'm producing 0.20 of a volt and that's from one of these tiny little diodes. Obviously with a few of them in series I can produce a volt or more and actually generate small amounts of electricity but given the size of this it's actually quite a good little amount again something is just going behind the tree now it's just last second i'll run up and grab my camera uh, but yeah it can actually produce a volt and if i put it onto the uh, milliamp range over on the side here again sorry about the display put it onto the milliamp range it's going to do that, obviously until it finds a, a level point, but now I'm blocking the sun, bring it back out, and then concentrate it. I can produce a bit of current, and when I had the sun, more than what it is now just, um, it went off the, off the scale. Unfortunately, I can't put this onto uh, DC amps, because that meter is broken. But just from the little diode right here in between the two leads, 0.18. Ah, oh, the sun is going. No. Let's try to find focal point. But just by bringing the sun in the right spot, I can actually produce uh, current. So I've got volts and current, so that equals usable power. Obviously, under load, it will drop. And it is, a, it is a diode, so it's going to behave, I guess, in its components way. But as for a small powered project, um, this is a really cheap, really, really simple, fun, mess about alternative to an actual solar panel or a, a solar cell. So, that's it, cover it up. I was reading off my hand, actually. Let's see. I hold both sides of the diode. Yeah, that was just read off my hand then, unfortunately. We've got the last few seconds of sun. Let's try to get some close. And get the one. There we are, off the chart. So I thought it was really clever, really simple. One of them overlooks components, I guess. But yeah, it has silicon. Like the transistor solar panel that was uh, also made. Well, you can get these again a dime a dozen, plus more, and they're just fun to use. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you later.